Okay, so you can see I'm working on my Zoe video. On the top right, you're going to see my project as it's coming together. And then the bottom center is my event library. And what I'm displaying here are only the clips that I've marked as favorites. So you'll see in my project, I've got some what are called cutaway shots. So I've got this really cute video of Zoe um, falling asleep and waking up and falling asleep and waking up. And I want to show the difference between her uh, being... Um, quiet and her being active because as a puppy it seems like she was either off or on so I want to illustrate that through video so that I've got this section of clip highlighted in my event library and I'm gonna drag and drop it over top of a point in the footage where I want to move it so I've got it here and I'm gonna drag it and you can see in the viewer I can see exactly where I want to drag it so there she is awake oh and she's falling asleep and I'm gonna put it right about there and when I drop it over top of the footage I have this menu that gives me a many options so I can replace the clip replace it from the start from the end exactly at the playhead I can insert it which splits the clip and puts the new clip in between I can replace only the audio so that the new clip audio goes over top of the old clip audio you can do picture in picture or side by side green screen or blue screen if you have that capability while you're filming but right now what I want to do is a cutaway so what it's going to do is it's going to add that video um, it's going to cut to that video the other video is still going on underneath so let's have a look at that and then we're going to do some fine-tuned editing so there she is falling asleep and there she is running great perfect and I'm going to continue editing. You'll see I've created a new project. I've got several Zoe projects. I have a lot of footage and I don't want to make my movie too long so I've grouped them by theme. And this one Zoe apparently I didn't realize it but enjoys shoving her face directly in the camera at the end of shots. So I've got a compilation of that of her running up into the camera. And I've decided this clip here uh, I would rather have it the second uh, clip in the sequence so I'm just gonna click on it to highlight it I'm gonna drag it and drop it where I want it it's that easy so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure everything's the way I want it that was actually the last one so what I'm gonna do now is add some transitions so when I click uh, the transition browser uh, when I hover my mouse over these um, thumbnails it gives me an example of what they're gonna look like so the other thing I thought could be good is some fade to whites or fade to blacks depending on whether her her fur or her nose is in the camera so what I'm gonna do right now is just click and drag and drop that transition where I want it to go and you'll see it's in the middle here so I'm just gonna place my uh, cursor where at, at the playhead where I want to start and hit the so we <laughs> So that's pretty subtle. If I want to make it longer, I'm going to click on the transition itself, and this little action menu will be your best friend as you edit on any sort of, um, of, a, of a clip here, whether it's a video clip, audio, transition title, anything like that. So I'm going to click on it and look at the transition adjustments, and I can increase the time. Uh, I can actually change the clip if I decide I'd rather have a fade instead. So I have that option. The other option when you click on this menu is the precision editor. And I just want to draw your attention to this. So you could, this is the uh, outgoing clip above, then the transition, and then the incoming clip below. You can slide these things around to make it more subtle. You can move the transition where you want it um, until you get a finished product that you like. And you can see you're making your changes and you can watch them in the viewer. So you can do some more fine tuning here with the precision editor. Um, so just be aware that that uh, is possible and you can also throw the audio tracks in and, and have a peek and uh, see what they look like and you can make sure that the audio is lining up exactly where you want it. I just click that audio, show the audio button here. Um, so have fun with the precision editor uh, with adding in uh, some transitions. For titles it's very very similar to the transitions. I'm actually probably not going to put any titles in here stylistically but the titles button is the capital T button next to the um, transitions browser. It's the title browser and again you hover over these uh, thumbnails and you can see what they're gonna look like. So some of them are really fun, um, some of them are really stylistic there's a, for all you Star Wars fans out there there's the far far away one and I know that this is supposed to be a lens flare but it kinda reminds me of Twilight anyway 
some options there. And again, you're just going to drag and drop it exactly where you want it. Being mindful that I'll show you one for example. Let's say I want that first clip to actually have titles over top of it. Can you see this blue um, area here? If I drag and drop the title, it actually goes over top of the footage itself. You see this blue box and that tells me that's the duration of my title. It's over top of the clip itself. You can go in here and you can change the font, change the text. When you're done, you just click the done button. And if I want to change the position of this, I'm just going to increase the, the length of it by just dragging out the edges. And I can also move it around by just sliding it around. Conversely, I can also put uh, put it on another clip. You can also put the title in between clips. Do you see how I just dropped it in between a couple clips? And then you have a background choice, whichever you want. I usually go black, but hey, it's whatever you want. And then I've got a title that's a clip in, in and of itself. So that's some um, sort of basic moving around clips, the precision editor, titles and transitions. I'm going to show you another little tip that I like to use. If I want to use the same transitions throughout my video, and in fact you don't need to use transitions between all your clips, but a few of these are really jerky and I want to smooth them out. I'm going to highlight the clip, the, the transition, I'm going to hold down the alt button and I'm going to drag and drop and it creates a duplicate right next door. So that's really useful for any sort of title, transition, anything like that. Using the alt key will create a second one and that's that's a standard keyboard shortcut for Adobe products for any of the iLife or iWork uh, software that will really increase the speed of your editing if you want to do multiple um, transitions that are the same. Okay so let's say I want to make this clip go in reverse so again action menu to the rescue I'm going to go to the clip adjustments this time and here you can see I can reverse the direction. I can also increase or decrease the speed. A couple of things I also want to draw your attention to here. You can stabilize your clip. It takes some time to run through the process and it's going to crop your clip a little bit and then you can control how much stabilization so that can actually make it look like you're filming on a dolly which is quite cool. Um, the other thing here you can do is throw in a video effect if you want to make it look like it's got a, a filter on it. The uh, one other thing also I wanted to mention is under the video inspector you can change the exposure and the color saturation just like you would if this were a photo.